What's up, everybody? Thanks for stopping by the Broski Dudes podcast. Today we have a fun-filled, packed episode for you, so stay tuned. Check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Yo, what's up, Stevie D? Yo, Kiko, Kiko. Over here. What, what is going doing, bro? on, bro? Man, I want to get to this real quick. I don't want to lose people's time. So today I want to talk to you, you about uh, a few signs that I think some parents should should be aware of. You know, I mean, the, the topic of the day is... Are you raising your kid good or bad? Or, or maybe it's in the middle, but we need to get to the bottom of it. Uh, this is coming from someone that doesn't have kid, uh, doesn't have any kids. Uh, I think, Steven, you don't have any kids either, right? That you know no, about? I mean, no, 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 I don't have any kids. Uh, I can identify a real jerk, though, so uh, I got something to say okay. about those parents. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just saying that as a disclaimer because, you know, people are a bit defensive about it, like, you know, what are, what are you gonna talk about if you don't have if you don't even have a kid? But I think I think uh, opinions matter anyway. If you're coming from a place where where you have real experiences, yeah, then, then it's valid, you know. So, you know, I wanted to ask you a few questions that you know pretty much I'll be asking myself as well. But you know, so that we could sort of think about and ponder sure. uh, about it. You know, like like uh, I myself find myself in in uh, multiple funny situations in the streets. Where I'm like, wow, and, and I notice these things, you know, like, what are what are bad signs or good signs, depending, that a kid is good or bad, you know? And I see these signs every day when I go to the supermarket. And so just so that I can give an example, I think it's easier, especially for me uh, to get this message through. You'll be able to, to know what I'm talking about, and then you can give me an example of, of things that annoy you or that you find to be signs of a kid that's not being raised well for sure and the example that i that i have is i remember when one time i was in the supermarket and there's a small supermarket around the the neighborhood that i live in that i always go to and this is a very um minority uh driven neighborhood right so there's a lot of you know it's a melting pot and and you have you know people from all over the world in some cases not everyone is as I don't know, I was educated. And one thing that annoyed the fuck out of me one time is I was waiting in the line to pay for my shit. And in front of me was this little kid, bro, like four years old, five years old, right? Mm -hmm. And the mom is like waiting in line as well. And the kid starts like poking at some shit that they're not gonna take. Like it's just in an aisle on the, on sort of while you're making the line to pay. And he's just poking at it. It was like this little, eggs like quail eggs and he was just poking at them and fucking up the product right and the mom is seeing him do this and the mom just didn't do anything you know and i'm not gonna mention like you know ethnicity or race or anything because i don't think it matters i think you see this across all races colors and and even you know financial situations right but i think i think we gotta call it out and I mean, I'm, I'm I'm calling it out here. I didn't call it out there because obviously, <laughs> yeah, because we were I, raised I right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I wanted to, you know, I wanted to be like, yeah. yo, you're looking at your kid fucking this up. Why don't you tell him that shit is wrong and you fucking give him a lesson? And I don't even mean like hitting a kid, but just talk to him, like let him know what the fuck. And yo, it got me so mad. And when I was raised, man, like my my parents are not like rocket scientists you know they're like very normal parents but like they taught me all these like little things like you know like don't do anything mm -hmm. that you know pretty much just having fucking common sense so wh what are things that you have encountered that annoy the fuck out of you like that that you think are signs that a kid is not being raised correctly well i mean i i think uh, a lot of times i see it when when parents are in the middle of doing something you know, they'll be maybe at the store or at a counter, you know, talking with a with a customer, and and I uh, got little things like that that irk me, right? I mean, my my niece and nephew do it all the time, and and you know, it's it's a learning process. I even have to sometimes be that 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 hard ass uncle, you know, that's like, excuse me, like I'm talking, you know, like, and it's really just about the interruption. Like if if I have a string of th of thought, I want to be able to just say finish that thought thought you know and i'm going to give you the undivided attention that i deserve or that i would give the same person i'm talking to 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 you but when it's your turn and uh i'm not a parent so i don't really know when is the right time 
to say something like that, like to for it to sink in. But uh, that is probably one of my biggest pet peeves for sure. That and like when kids are running around like in the line at Disney or, or some amusement park or, you know, and, and the parent is just maybe way over there, but they're they're playing tag in the line. Now, Disney overall is a safe place, but, you know, the world is very different from back then. So that's I don't know if that's a raising the kid right or if that's just a bad parent. So uh, I can't no, I totally agree with you. I mm. totally agree with you. I, I, I was recently in, in Disney. And, and and I could definitely see many situations where you see like the parents like these little fuckers just causing chaos and you're like, where the fuck are the parents, man? And mm-hmm. I mean, and, and, and this is actually a complex topic because then we're going to like the like, like the, the, the debate, right? I mm-hmm. mean, I think it's a debate of like, should everyone be allowed to have children? Because there's some children that you're like, bro, man, who the fuck allowed these people to fucking breed? <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I it's fucked because I guess it's a human right. Like, for, but at the same time, bro, I think there should be like parameters. Like, when you go get a license for driving, you know, you gotta go to the DMV or whatever office. You you know, I'm pretty sure around the world it's all the same bullshit. It's like three people that wanna die, and those are the public workers, and then everyone just hates their their life. Uh, it's slow and you know uh, you know getting a driver but but you have to pass this test the technical test the physical test the theory the theoretical test right all this shit so that we can make sure that you can drive a vehicle and hopefully you won't kill people in the way all right okay. but what about having children that there's no like fucking rule any anyone just do it nobody cares and then if you cannot even feed the kid then the government has to take care of that so I just think that, <coughs> fuck. <coughs> I just think that because of that, because of irresponsible people having kids, you end up having these kids that you see in the streets were like, oh yeah, this motherfucker wasn't taught anything. He wasn't raised correctly. He's not being teach the correct things that you gotta be teach along the way. And and you know when we are parents, I mean, I myself, I'm probably not gonna be like an amazing parent because I'm learning on the way. But I can tell you that at least I'm going to fucking try to do my best and always try to pass on all these, like, unwritten rules of life, you know, that for me, they're so, like, basic, like, it's common sense. But apparently in today's world, it doesn't seem to be that much of common, you know, it's like, it's more Mm -hmm. like sparse sense you know very few people have it so i got a question for you actually man um so here's another here's another flip side to that right we here we are talking about how parents should be raising their kids but um you know another part of it, it has a lot to do with the way that kids are receiving the information too i just this is just me playing the other side here just to to keep things interesting but but think about it right how many kids have been told by their parent and their parent might feel the same way about the, uh, you know, teaching them, you know, oh, you can't do that. Like, I'm, I'm here to, I'm your parent. I'm going to show you how this is done. Right. But then there's somebody who says it that way. And there's somebody who says it throwing something at the kid or like grabbing the kid or being different. You know what I mean? This is how I'm, how was, I was taught. I was beat or I was hit with this and I, I was beaten straight. But now kids back then are not the same as kids now. And then now we got rebellious people, right? My mom, my mom told me a, a story about this guy who she works with and he's like clean cut, you know, shirt, ironed glasses, uh, you know, just, just, just beaten tao. You know what I mean? I don't know how, how else to say it, but like, he's, he's yeah, I mean, like, this guy's just clean. He's clean. He's clean, but he's, he's, but he's like, you know, pens in this place, the little, the little satchel with his little laptop. That's fucking perfect. Right. There's no fingerprints. No, you know what I mean? And, um, and they, my Money mom, keep them. yeah, well, I mean, he has a family, right? This is, the, yeah, I, I my, no, my mom I t- saying this mm-hmm. to me, I thought the same. And then, you know, he has a family. All so right. they're at this, uh, conference and Uh it's his birthday i guess or maybe there was like it was something that he 
work to i don't really remember but what the company did was get video from his family right and when you check out his family his wife disheveled like hair all over the place his his son purple hair big freaking gauge earrings tattoos <laughs> and and then you could just see him like sinking into the chair and and everybody's like oh wow hey why didn't you you know the son like made like a quick cameo appearance uh i'm guessing <laughs> he was he was kind of escorted off the off the frame right, but what what was your point with this the point is is that what kind of parent child relationship is there right because here he is uh you know looking down and like almost being embarrassed that his he has to show his very like different type of family life to his workers right um but further more than that why is his kid so different you know what i mean is he the okay. hard ass at work or at home and so what you're saying is that that you he talk. seems to have it all together at work like he's a fucking man yeah but I, 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 when you see the pictures of 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 his family it makes it look like oh no he doesn't have this in control so right. i guess it's, it's hard okay well i mean that's also you sort of assuming that the fact that his kid has this style and his women has this style that they're fucking losers and that his is that what i think keep it together is well, that what i, mean, I think that's what that's it seems that's what you're expressing no 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 on the contrary i'm saying that the the kid is being very outgoing and is well his wife being the way she is is fine it's just it was more for story but his kid is is the way he is because maybe his father was trying to push on him to look like this and then he wanted okay. to express himself that way doesn't make him really a loser i've met plenty of people who are smart just like yourself with full tattoos and have a good time so no, no but i thought the point you were trying to make is like okay it's just that they're different okay yeah yeah just but, what i mean, I mean is t teaching somebody how to raise them would innate would usually like i'm very much like my dad when you when you look at my dad you look at me and our gestures and things like that and i think that's because he didn't i mean we didn't grow up together to like our entire lives but when he was trying to teach me things it wasn't um so so stern to the point where i wanted to be different you see what i mean okay so, so, you, so you're saying that actually is the other way around if you have a father that really cares about your up upbringing and gives you all the fucking tools you end up being very different from your dad because you actually sort of f follow your own path instead of just following what your instinct will take you to do normally which is whatever your dad did like in like it's, it's very known for people to just be like their dad and their dad didn't even do much of the upbringing right just because of instincts you follow the examples that you see so yeah i mean that makes sense yeah um that's that's kind of where i'm going and yeah okay <laughs> i mean we went like back and forth. yeah <laughs> no, like no 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 it's around right. the whole community and back but we we made it we're there <laughs> uh, no but I, I get what you're saying but i think that's exactly the point of it all like you want to be a, a father or a parent that's engaged so that you can actually guide these little fuckers through life like mm -hmm. life is so complicated and hard and and dude i mean like you know, I'm pretty sure it's in a spectrum of like who was raised the best and who was raised the worst. I'm pretty sure I'm not like the kid that was raised the best, like perfectly. I'm pretty sure my parents did what they could, but even then that allowed me to have enough information and knowledge and principles and values to sort of go through life without fucking with anyone, right? Yeah. yeah. And I find it that there's so much people that aren't raised that way. And, and, you know, have you ever met, like, people, like, maybe not friends, but acquaintances that you meet on a night and you're like, wow, this guy's, like, pretty stupid, you know? <laughs> and then he starts talking about, like, yeah, no, and um, I haven't seen my kid in a while and shit. And you're like, oh, and you have a kid. Okay, so that's, like, he's dead, you know? The, he has the no guy. future. Yeah, I was going to say Well, the, the kid, like, you're like, what the fuck? How do you have a kid and you are, like, a liability yourself? Like, <laughs> right. you know what I mean? Like, you are going to be a burden to the state at one fucking point. I could see it. And then your kid, obviously. So, and obviously, I mean, if I was able to enact a lot of the thoughts that sometimes I get, I guess it would be more like a dictatorship that nobody would want to live in because obviously that's not how things should be. But there is like this alter ego that sometimes I'm like, man, some people should just be eliminated from the game <laughs> and we should keep the ones that are productive to this fucking scheme that we have going on, which is, you know, making this race better. But I guess at the end of the day, we got to 
walk or run as fast as the slowest, you know, and we're yeah. as strong as the weakest link. So what the fuck? But yeah, uh, I think we should be able to, in some way, raise our kids better. Like for people like you and me, I know that when we have kids, as stupid as we are, mm -hmm. we at least have the good-hearted intentions of raising this, you know, this little thing. So I don't worry about us, but like there's a, I think there's a, a lot more like stupid people than the ones that are educated, and they're gonna have kids. So. Mm -hmm. And also, you know. what about, what about, let's say you are a good parent, right? We are like how we are. And then they get bullied in school. Well, we're, we're not parents, so by the way. No, no. We're so not. We're, just, <laughs> we're, we're going by what we think, you know, that's how large our ego is. It's like, well, good parents like we are going to be. Right. right. <laughs> well, I mean, I like, to, I like to give myself a little credit. Um, uh, do you, you, have, um, you have any nieces, nephew, Kiko, anything like that? So I, I do. Not, I don't, I, I do, I do. Yeah, like even if it's like a second cousin or something like that. I don't yeah, know. I don't have much contact, but I have a, a bit of an experience, some experience. Yeah, so I mean, for for me, when I spend time with my them, like you can see when they're acting out, and then I'm watching her. I'm watching how they're being raised and things like that, and so uh, I give myself a fifty fifty chance. But um, but the other factor is, let's just say that there are good parents out there, you know, standard, you know, run of the mill parents, but they get to school and they might get bullied um, or there might be peer pressured. And, you know, I don't know, let's say we're good parents, like the people or their parents are good parents, but they might have just a lot that they have to take on. Maybe, you know, not everybody's financially stable. They might need one or two jobs. And therefore, a lot of the kids upbringing is, is more um, uh, environmental, you know. Right. Uh, so, I mean, what do you where do you stand with that? Like how? I don't know what what rant would you go on if if, if you well, if I were to say something like that. I think that I mean obviously, as a parent, you can only control certain things, mm -hmm. and then you have a big factor that you don't control, which is the environment, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, unless you homeschool the kid, which is gonna fuck them up even more. So you know, yeah. so you so you gotta mm -hmm. risk having the kid go to you know public school or whatever. I mean, unless you got a lot of money and you go to private, but. I think private school will be more for the educational uh, opportunity more than just to be with like richer kids because at the end of the day I think the experiences are gonna be lived at, at both stages of the right. of the money of the money uh, pit. But just to get on with it, so when the kid um, has his experiences, right? He gets bullied or he has problems at school. You wanna use these experiences to teach him the lessons of life, right? Mm -hmm. So like for example. Let's say at school he sees, he, you know, he has his friends and they're like, oh, let's go steal this kid's thing, you know, Game mm -hmm. Boy, whatever. And he sees those things happen. And then, he, you know, your kid tells you like, oh, these friends of mine, they were like trying to, you know, steal some kid's shit or whatever, or they stole it. You want to think, well, that's a perfect opportunity to be like, okay, well, that's not right, you know. And you might feel like right now those kids think it's cool and if you don't think it's cool you feel like you're a loser but believe me eventually you're gonna understand that those things don't matter and what really matters is like the values that you have you know within you you know and for example you know or, or what if like he gets bullied or, or he sees his friends be bullying somebody else you know you can explain the situation I mean bullying is, is very hard you know there's many ways and in, in many cases so it's, it's more of a case on case basis mm -hmm. because if it's like verbal bullying you know you you, you can maybe try to teach your kid on, on how to be smart about it and and beat the bully psychologically right yeah if it gets physical it gets a little more tricky you know I mean you don't want your kid to back to back down in life but you don't you don't want to instill the the sense that violence should be an answer to things you know mm -hmm. that that should you know you want to sort of teach that violence sh should be avoided uh almost at all costs you know with the exceptions of you know uh your family or yourself being in danger but you know it's, it's a hard job it's definitely a hard job and it's you know it's not black and white there's gray areas where parents i'm sure don't know what to do yeah but i think that if at least you have parents that are trying I mean, they're never gonna be perfect, but if just they're trying, the kid's gonna be decent. It's not gonna be a burden to society. I'm worried about the ones that don't even give a fuck, that don't even try. You know, what uh, what gives that um, what are some of the characteristics that you think 
are maybe red flags. Okay, so like Kiko as the as the president of uh, Sir Antonio, you know, or whatever you would name your country, and you had mm-hmm. the ability to to be uh, an one. I don't want to say dictator, but the one ruler, right? The kingdom. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Where would you? What would be like uh, the system that you'd implant, implement? Like strike one, strike two, strike three. Yep, no more kids for you. Chop his nuts. You, <laughs> you or, fuck up. You fuck up, we we'll kill you. Oh. <laughs> you know, I hear that there's a, a spot open up in North simple. Korea. You come here, you fuck up once, and we kill you. We're going to make an example and let the people know we do not like it this year. You bully the guy, you call them fat, we kill you. We killed you. You're dead. <laughs> you're, you're dead. I hear there's a, there's an opening. Did you look under the girl's panties? Or you think you're a big shot? Behead him in front of his parents. <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah, I think you'd fit really... Uh, what other bullying is something that's like, like you know, what, like cyber bullying, right? Yeah, you uh, sh- you, especially you, now. You share some girls like naked photos, right? To, with your friends and people. Oh, you're right. That's fucked up. Well, okay, yeah. you think you're funny? Uh, dig- okay, we're going to digitally uh, stick uh, a stake in your anus, and we're going to digitally <laughs> send it to everybody. I mean, ideally, ideally, those are things that will fix the situation. I'm pretty sure they'll send the right message, and nobody will do it again. However, in the free society that we live in, that is frowned upon. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> so I mean, if I was a, if I was a president. Like, like, what things would I do to, to improve, like, the life of kids in school type shit? I guess I was meaning, meaning more like, you know, what are the red flags? Like, what, where, if, if I, I'm getting at is if I'm a parent and I see myself doing this and I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, I remember listening to the Broski Dude's podcast. That's a red flag. <laughs> right. I, I mean, red flag <laughs> definitely is when you see your kid, when you see your kid, like, like, if you want to get into, like, the worst red flag you can see so that we can get it out first and then we can take a look at at milder red flags but like a big red flag on a kid is if he hurts animals yeah if you see your kid like (laughs) killing birds or like oh look mom i killed a frog i put it through his eye and shit like i put a pencil through his eye and you know watched it while he bled you know (laughs) (laughs) yeah that's a dead giveaway (laughs) i mean not only that's a red flag you should call the authorities <laughs> right away because this kid, I mean, again, if, if, he was, if he was my ideal Soviet, uh, <laughs> you know, dictatorship, uh, you know, that, that, that kid, burn him. Burn him in front of everybody. What the fuck is wrong with him? Killing little birdies. And for what the fuck? I'm mean, but that's not even something I would do. What the fuck is wrong with you, little kid? He's dead. Like, no, but for real, though. (laughs) Every time you hear any story about a serial killer, there's always, like, some old ladies, like, yeah, I used to be the neighbor, and one time I saw him kill a birdie, and, you know. (laughs) Yeah, somebody picked up on it, right? So. Yeah, it's always some shit like that. So, but yeah, I mean, red flags real quick so that we can let the people know. If you see them kill or hurt animals, that's bad. If you see them take shit, you know, like if you see them come home with shit, ask them, like, what, what is this? Where did you get this? Because mm-hmm. a kid that's stealing from when he's little and he's not rectified that that's wrong, they have a, a distorted mindset of life and they think that they can just take things, right? Yeah. Violence. If you see him, if you see your kid just being violent towards all the kids, you know that's not a cool thing for your kid to be the bully or 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 the or the you gotta teach him that that's not correct because in life when he grows up he cannot bully adults in in life and he's gonna get something bad coming so fix that thing right away and all another thing respect you gotta check if your kid is being disrespectful not only to other kids but to to the to you know older people to adults you gotta check that shit when they're young because that way you can rectify it early and actually have a kid that people don't think are fucking annoying. Yeah, and that he's going to open up a lot more doors. You know, my mom would basically just had to give us the eye, right? All she had to do is look our way and be like, you know, we shit ourselves. Uh, Man, she gave you that eye on a family reunion. Ooh. You know you were fucked. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you better not even, like, start some shit right now in front of people because oh, then well. that's, it would multiply. No, you yeah, knew she, already. You she knew pulled, already, but... 
You pulled me out of Sears once and then beat me in the back of the seat. But that's going to be for the next episode on the Broski Doodles podcast. <laughs> on child abuse. <laughs> and we're going <there. laughs> to... And we're going to touch on the different bars of child abuse in the uh, Latin American community. And also what and weapons you can use to not be caught. <laughs> what <laughs> weapons can you use and what weapons you cannot use when abusing your child in a Latin American household? I mean, you know, these are all very, uh, very interesting topics that we're going to be touching up on very soon. Uh, but, you know, any last words that you would recommend parents, you know, signs that you think quickly they can see like, oh, this needs to be rectified that you can think of? I kind of agree with you 100% on that. So I'm going to go a different route and say, teach your kid by example, because they look up to you so much. You know, even if you're tired, you know, and you see an opportunity, somebody needs a seat, you know, you go, you sit down somewhere at a doctor's office and, you know, give, give your seat up to someone or have your kid give them their seat up to someone, you know, humble them. It will take them a lot further and obviously just be present right like you said it, ask them be part of their life ask, where did you get this you know i remember one time i walked into a store and i took a little a little thing to hold your golf ball or your cigar when you're golfing and uh we were already like down the highway i pulled it out they turned around and made me return it and uh i'm, I'm grateful for it because i don't do that shit anymore yeah. so I mean, I'm pretty sure his parents didn't play golf, but no, no, um, I didn't even know my golf. <laughs> no, no, but yeah, yeah, no, but you, you're see, you you are bringing up a good point. Those are the things. If you teach by example, it gets into the brains even even better because they're actually seeing it, not just hearing it. And yeah. for kids, it's important for them to hear. We're gonna have a second part on this episode once we have kids, mm -hmm. and we're gonna you know put it from that perspective. But thank you for listening today, Broski Doodles. Yes. Uh, yes. Kiko, thank you. Appreciate no you. No problem, bro. And everybody, Stevie, I love er you. Love you too, man. And everybody, just take care of your kids. <laughs> Yo, and like raise those motherfuckers well, because I swear to God, dog, one day I'ma flip on these motherfucking kiddos. The Peace. Soviet, the Soviet is coming. We're going to crush them all if the fuck it out. I swear. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the Broski Doodles podcast today. We hope you had a lot of fun listening to it. We had a lot of fun recording it. If you like what you heard, go ahead and smash that like button and hit us up on all of our social handles. Uh, leave us a comment so we can talk to you online and figure out what else to talk about online. So, uh, yeah. <laughs>